work to create a memorial to the remarkable life of Queen Elizabeth II begins this week, on the anniversary of her death. The public will be invited to suggest ideas for both a permanent reminder, such as a statue, and a living memorial which could involve new facilities such as parks or projects to help people in need. Decisions will be announced to coincide with what would have been her 100th birthday in 2026. Baron Janvrin, who served as her private secretary, has been appointed by the government to chair the Queen Elizabeth Memorial Committee, an independent body that will consider the options. He was a Royal Navy officer and also served as a diplomat. He said, it will be a unique challenge to try to capture for future generations Her Late Majesty's extraordinary contribution to our national life throughout her very long reign. Queen's final resting place sees more than a million pay respect same memorial statue of her father, George VI, stands in the mall. In addition, grants were awarded after his death to organizations working to help young people and the elderly. A statue of her grandfather, George V, stands opposite the Houses of Parliament while a memorial fund in his honor supported a network of 506 parks, playing fields, recreational grounds and green spaces across the UK. Experts on the committee will engage with the public to ensure ideas from across the UK are considered, and submit their recommendations to the King and the Prime Minister. Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden said, Queen Elizabeth II was our longest reigning monarch and greatest public servant. Lord Janvrin will now begin the important work of designing a fitting tribute to her legacy of service to our nation and the Commonwealth.